Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel where I talk about IT, cybersecurity, education, and career things. In today's video, I'm going to be answering another question um, about the relevancy of the Google IT support certification and like what else you need, if anything, to get a job in IT. So before I get started on this, I just want to say follow me on Instagram. I've been posting there a lot recently. Food, scenery, Japan, kind of my normal life outside of IT. So getting back to the video, the question comes from this viewer. She says, I'm currently about to complete the Google search. From what I've seen, the search is recognized in the US. I want to get an entry level help desk job in Europe with a cert. Do you think it's as recognized or what else would I need? So to be honest, that's kind of like my, my weak point. I don't really know that much outside of the US. I've had a couple of viewers say like, oh, I watched your channel and I, I implemented this and I was able to get a job in like the UK somewhere. I've seen that, but it's like kind of anecdotal at best. But definitely like, you know, the, the cert for sure people over there know what it is without really knowing how things are over there. Basically, I would I'll probably like defer to this spreadsheet I kind of made. I'll put a link to this in the description. Basically what this is, so first of all, like I, I made a course with Course Careers on how to get into IT. That course is really good, to be honest. It's brand new. A, a few people, like maybe 10 people have graduated from it and a few of them have gotten jobs and then someone got a job before they even graduated. Um, I tried to make it as good as I possibly could, so check out that course. But basically this spreadsheet is from that course where I kind of talk about the different things that you need to kind of worry about or care about in order to you know be successful successful in getting a job quickly in IT. So basically where the Google support certification comes into play, it would be un under certification. So for example, your certification statistic. Coincidentally, I kind of defined C tier certification, that is like this tier, this level, as only getting the Google IT support certification, but you really need to worry about the other areas as well. Cause it does give you a nice base of knowledge, but you have to worry about like other things like how consistent you are in your application strategy and how much you apply right every day, like five thought out, well constructed applications applications per day with like paying attention to the keywords and using like a different resume for each one job application execution, the geographic region in which you apply to jobs and like how many you do per day, like your self presentation. Um, that doesn't mean you have to be like, you know, super handsome or beautiful or whatever. It just means being the best version of yourself that you can be. So that's something you have to worry about. Um, make sure you have good written communication, your resume quality, I have a whole bunch of playlists on resume and like resume reviews. And by the way, like the, the course I made in how to get to, into IT, I kind of focus it on elevating these areas, if that makes sense. So everything in the course like hand holds you on how to increase your stats in these different areas. So that's kind of what what where these came from. It's not just some random thing, but um, resume quality, you know, resume, use my playlist, um, portfolio quality, how to showcase your work and show the things that you worked on. If you want to go hard, you can make like a video demonstration doing your projects or a tutorial or something. Um, I have a video for this to how to make a portfolio. Check that out. You're totally free to copy my portfolio as well. And Kind of make it your own experience. Um, if you don't have experience in IT, you can definitely generate your own experience. So for example, the way I do that in this course, um, we we use an Azure subscription and we install like a free open source ticketing software, like a help desk ticketing system. We install that and like set it up. So that's something that you could do on your own or you could do it in the course if you wanted to. Kind of increase your experience points. For social network, you know, you just want to make sure you have your nice filled out LinkedIn as, as good as it could be with a nice headshot. You can take a selfie and then use like um, that website to kind of crop it out and have a nice, you know, professional ish looking picture, get a lot of connections in your industry. If you can fill out your indeed profile or whatever they use over there to make your, you know, resume available to recruiters, right? Um, the interview skill, you want to get a hold of at least 50 interview questions, like maybe half of those behavioral and pra practice articulating answers to those and kind of practice answering questions that you don't know the answer to, if that makes sense. So for example, someone asks you about group policy, for instance, you can be like, oh, like I haven't learned learned group policy yet, um, but I have worked with Active Directory a little bit. Group policy is definitely on my list of things to do. It's much better to say that than to say like, oh, I don't know what it is, right? So practice articulating answers to like at least 50 interview questions many, many times. Technical ability, um, this is where practice comes in. So in my course, there's like six or seven labs and I recommend students to do each lab like multiple, multiple times, like many times. Because each time you do something, each time you implement something technically, you're going to get like slightly better intuition, like slightly better understanding. And when you have like a high level of understanding and a really good intuition, it's really easy for you to articulate yourself when it comes time to interview. So I recommend like, it doesn't have to be in my course,
course, right? But I have some videos on my channel for free, like implementing Active Directory and doing this type of thing. So try to do that many times where you get like a good sense of it. And then you're going to be like so strong, like by the time the interview comes, right? And certification, you don't need like anything crazy. You're getting Google IT support certification. That is like definitely, definitely good enough to work in IT. And I put quote unquote education here. This is just in sense, in the sense of the traditional education HRC is so like bachelor's degree, master's degree. You don't need a degree to work in IT in the States, but I, I don't know how the UK is. I suppose I could Google or something, but like, who knows? But I, I don't think you need one. But just kind of think about yourself in um, in the scope of these stats and be honest with yourself. And then wherever you're weak, just try to increase that area. And then when you're, when you're as strong as possible, you have like nice portfolio and your resume is good and you practice interviewing and you have, you know, you did your labs like many, many times, you, you'll, you'll be more than capable of working in IT and that's kind of like what the whole course is all about um everything that's in my course you can you can find like some version of it somewhat on my channel there's just like less hand holding and the course you you get like a, a one hour one-on-one -on -one with me and like a lot of support and it's like maintained but you can you can do this on your own right so when you have all of that stuff ready to go that's when you just start like applying to jobs like crazy like spend enough time on it right a couple hours a day quality applications at least like five to six per day and you you def definitely going to get a job at that point it's kind of a long-winded answer, but that's like literally like almost a guaranteed way to get what you want. Please follow me on Instagram in exchange for this video. I really appreciate it a lot, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.